This is five months old. I've been doing this for five months. Good morning, YouTube. It's been two weeks since my last decent update, I guess. Um, I didn't want to give you another update until I'd made some significant progress. Unfortunately, making significant progress means I spent two weeks running around ordering parts, um, liaising with different companies, trying to get laser cutting and perspex and um, the steel to do the mounts for these. Um, that's still coming. <laughs> It's driving me crazy, if I should be honest. Um, I was also hoping to have all the bus bars done my way. Let me just tell you something about my way. It was a fucking stupid idea. I like it, and it's got merit, but I think my ability and my talent got in the way of common sense. But... You know, I lost 20 hours of fuck assing around and 250 odd dollars in parts and crap and tools and whatever to do it. And at the end of the day, I've gone back to this style. So I've got three made up. I'm only going to make three up until I get to the engineer and we work out whether or not that the, the, the part of the the negative and positive terminal actually work in the mount, which is a genuine concern. Um, so I've got all my packs made now. Uh, I finished the last three cells last night for this pack here, which you can't see because that pack's in the way. So I got 1,120 tested cells. Um, and I tried to do the maths last night. I think I'm gonna call it a 10 kilowatt pack. Now it's going to be 10 kilowatt if you completely drain it and you flog its ass, but I guess that's what the capacity, actual capacity is. Um, and I've based, I've based that on, on an average of 2200 milliamp hours across the entire bank. Um, you do the maths, you use a calculator online or something. But bearing in mind, when you do the calculation for the um, mil, uh, for the amp hours to kilowatt hours it uses 24 volt because this is technically speaking a 24 volt pack but fully charged it's 29 volts um, and it'll hold that charge at 29 volts 29.4 volts so it's saying it's about eight and a half kilowatts but you add on that little bit extra and it's going to be closer to, to 10 i reckon so i'm going to call it a 10 kilowatt pack that may or not be exactly the accurate but they're all second end cells it could end up being a four kilowatt pack couldn't it now yesterday or the day before i got another 300 batteries laptop batteries give or take um out of that i got about 200 cells now why did i get 200 cells from that many batteries well they were full of these things pouch batteries well, I think they're called pouch batteries now along the top it had another three cells and it had that now I have about a hundred and fifty to 175 of those things with what is it five or six cells in it um, I'm not gonna post them but they have a recycle value of about $45. So if anybody wants all of those cells, they're welcome to them. All that they've got to do is come and pick them up. Uh, that $45 will go to my recycling lady who would have got the money anyway if she had to take them off to recycling, but I want to try, to try and keep it in the industry. There's got to be something that can be done with them. I mean, they're just, they're just lithium ion batteries, but yeah, I don't know. These are the ones that make all the, the blow-up videos on, aren't they? Anyways, so that's where we're at. Not really any significant progress. I got heaps of cells. The bus bar was... The bus bar saga is over. I didn't lose. How can you lose when you actually tried? 
and did something different, did something unique, did something trying to do it better. But look, you know, this way's working. Um, it's faster, it's cheaper, blah, 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 but pff, shit happens.